The RST REF rulebook is your operating system for the REF interface. You can do everything at this location that you can do at the REF folders location. To add or load a REF folder to the rulebook, click on Open and the REF folders location will appear. Click on the desired folder and then select Load to Rulebook. To create a new REF folder at the rulebook location, click on New and the REF folders location will appear. At this point, follow the same procedure explained at the REF folders section of these instructions. To remove a REF folder from the list of folders on your rulebook, simply click on the folder you want to remove and click Remove. The folder will be deleted from the rule book list, but will be preserved in your all folders list at the ref folders location. To load a ref play from the rule book location, click on the ref folder that you want to receive the new ref play. Select load and the ref plays location will appear in the upper left portion of your screen. Drag the desired ref play to the name of the ref folder in the rule book, or you can click on the desired play and then click on Load to Rule Book. The RST ref rule book allows the user to insert the proper rule or article that applies to the videos being played. This information is contained at the lower right portion of the interface. When a ref play is selected for viewing, the name of the ref play will automatically appear in the box next to the word rule number. To edit the rule language, click on the pencil icon and type any information desired in the article box as well as the narrative box. We have added another section called penalty so that the user can add whatever penalty should be applied as a result of the referee's call. When you are finished adding the information in the narrative and penalty locations, simply click on the pencil icon again and your information will be saved and will appear every time you view the plays on the screen.